What's going on guys? Haven't been playing much Road to Glory lately, but we are back with some Tank Tucker. We lost our last game to the Miami Hurricanes, sadly, but we play an 0-5 team, but we played a winless team last week, and they upset us, so we have to come back. It's a rivalry game, the South's oldest rivalry, so we gotta come back, get a victory, get this team back on track. Well, we better be ready to go this week, because we got beat by a winless team last week. And it was embarrassing. So, on the first play from scrimmage, Tank Tucker gets a 7-yard gain out of there. Go up to the 31-yard line. We're 20th in the nation. If you remember from last season, we weren't even ranked. And I don't remember off the top of my head what our record was, but we didn't become a ranked team until the preseason polls of this current season. And we are in Tank Tucker's junior season. Barely just started. We played like three four games and We have one loss and we had national championship hopes at the beginning of the year But now with one early loss We're gonna have to bank on other teams losing and no undefeated teams remaining at the end unless there's just one because We would love to get into that BCS national championship game and here we go tank and I'll post a, a thing at the end with those clickable video links, but I made Tank Tucker on WWE 12, and if you're a Tank Tucker fan and you haven't seen that video, well, you better check it out because it is pretty sweet. And there we go. Renner goes upfield, takes the ball himself, and he's going to get us a first down. We are almost into field goal range because these kickers in college apparently have the same abilities as NFL kickers, although I've watched some college football. Not a big college football fan, but I watched some college football. I can tell you that these top kickers, or these kickers in the NCAA are nowhere near NFL status. There we go. Renner off the run again. He's got more yards than Tank Tucker now. That's going to be first and 10 at the 10-yard line, and these plays suck. But great job by Renner to get us in the scoring position. I don't care how we get inside of the 10-yard line. There we go. Touchdown, Tar Heels. Tangle with 18 yards on the opening drive, but the team scored a touchdown. That's all that matters. And now, excuse me, 17 yards on the ground. And first and 10 now. Tucker coming out of the backfield, but... Other plans, a slant over the middle. That's going to be good for a gain of nine. Second and one. They're stacking the box a little bit, but hey, you block good enough for us to get one and a half yards. Sometimes teams struggle with that. First and ten. I love this screen pass right here. I call this the Welker screen pass because it's a lot like the one the Patriots run to Wes Welker a lot. And now, that screen pass didn't work, so it's 2nd and 10. I kind of wish I would have audible this to a run, but I'll take it. First down over the middle to our receiver. I wish he's had the real names, because I don't just want to say the receiver, the quarterback, the left guard. I would prefer some names, but for some reason, Road to Glory wouldn't allow the custom roster. That doesn't make any sense. Now it's second and eight after a short carry by Tank. Virginia's run defense playing decent enough in the first half here of this game. Oh, come on. I was not ready for that. Anyways, third and eight. We're in field goal range for maybe, maybe Sebastian Janikowski, but we'll see if the college kicker can hit this one. But any... Oh, come on, man. I guess he did take a hit, but... Fourth and eight, we're just going to go for it. Not really surprised in this situation. I agree with the call. If it's more than 10 yards, punt. All right, Tucker out of the backfield. Oh, boy, got a man open right side. That's going to be a touchdown. Or I'll score it, or I'll just lead the field. That's cool, too. We scored a touchdown, as did Virginia. So they answer back. It's 14-7. to seven. Oh boy, that guy is wide open and aww. Oh, a little bit of a better throw. Possibly leading him up the sideline instead of out of bounds. Could have resulted in a touchdown, but 
I'm not going to complain because Renner's making some good plays, getting us positive yardage and moving us down the field. That's all I'm asking from him. And last game, I actually ran out of my extra plays. And so I didn't have them when the game was on the line. And so I know now how important it is to conserve them in the first half and use them when it's necessary in the second. That's a three-yard pass. All right, I'll run this halfback sweep. Haven't gotten that many carries yet. Hand off to Tucker. Goes up for about three yards, making it third and four. Now here is makeable field goal range for a college kicker. Third and four. Here we go. Oh, I thought I had some separation there. Couldn't do it. Fourth and four now. We're going to go for it instead of kick the field goal and take a two-score lead. We obviously don't have much faith in our kicker. Pass right. Is that complete? Yes, it was. First down, Tar Heels. Great throw by Renner and a great catch. I'm going to assume it was a great catch. I couldn't see it. But anyways, first and ten. Oh, my God. I hate how if you pretty much you have to turn. I have to turn like every route into an angle route. In order to get separation. If it's man coverage, they're usually really good at covering. Anyways. Tucker, there we go. I'm not a big fan of those animations right there, actually. Like that like half spin one that really gets you all that momentum. The only reason you get the yardage is because of the animation itself. And that kind of bugs me. Anyways, fourth and goal now. And why did I choose the block? Oh, well. I'm going to try my best. There we go. Renner escapes the... Defensive end gets into the end zone. We take a two score lead. Tucker with really nothing going on amazing in this game. But the team overall is playing well. We're approaching the end of the first half now, second and ten. Tucker gonna run the swing out of the backfield. Let's we'll see if he can find me in the flats. Awesome throw. What was that? I don't even know what that was. Second and 15 after the backwards pass that went out of bounds. And Tucker spins off a defender but is quickly shut down after a gain of three. And so it looks like... It looks like we are content with just going to the half. And that's going to be one yard. We'll punt the ball, go to halftime, go to the second half. It's all moving so fast. Tucker hasn't really sprung anything. And uh, Virginia defense has been playing very stingy against the run. There we go. Just a couple of linebackers got to me quick. One off the edge, one up the middle. Second to nine now. Play action to Tucker. And he's just going to sit and block, but Renner's going to take off. Oh, I wish I could have gotten out in front and blocked that guy. Renner has more pa rushing yards than Tank in this game. By far, I'd have to believe. First and ten handoff goes to Tank. Oh boy, got some room up the middle. Just followed his blockers, take it down inside of the ten yard line. Big gain for Tank Tucker. He's all excited about that one. That one probably earned him a after game cheeseburger or something now it's first and goal let's take this three score lead guys Tucker let's come back over the middle touchdown Tar Heels in the back of the end zone was that number 96 touchdown anyways and now we come out with our three score lead looking to run some of this clock Possibly add to this lead. Handoff goes to Tank. Probably should have cut inside. I like, I'm like. i used too used to going outside, I guess. Second and ten now. Coming out of... Okay, man in motion to the right. Delayed handoff. And is trying to get some blocks established. And then trying to find the hole. Eight yards. That's a decent gain. And it looks like I'm already done with my extra plays again. Third and two. Play action to Tucker. 
and quick pass over the middle. That's good enough for a first down. The chains will move. I'm really impressed with our passing offense in this game. It's not been something I've really been all that excited about when we have to pass the ball because Renner and his interception problems, guys not getting open and whatever it's been that's been holding this team's pass offense down. But seems to have gotten a lot better this season. And now we're knocking on the door once again. Second and two. Handoff goes to Tank. Up the middle he goes. We'll get inside of the five-yard line. Perhaps can punch this in and get a touchdown. Here we go. He's got a fullback in front of him. And there we go. Touchdown, Tank Tucker. Good push by the offensive line. Tucker gets his first touchdown on the day. And this one is pretty much over. Well, I guess we won't call it over yet, but we have a 21-point lead, the ball, and only four minutes left. Just too much, too many defenders in the way right there. They've been doing a good job. Tucker had the one long run. He's gotten more yards in the second half, perhaps putting some holes in this defense with his power running style. And right there, that's going to lose a yard, actually. But we're going to try to get the first down and take some more time off of the clock. Oh, really, I don't know, like, L2 is the strafe button. I wish there was the strafe would just turn around like you're running a curl. Fullback dive. At the one-yard line. Oh, boy, we're going to hit somebody. Oh, boy, Tucker just gets in there. You won't even have a chance, man. 44. Just got his lights turned out. Second and 10 now. We're going to give it to Tank Tucker. There we go. A few yards anyways up the middle. Six yards on the play. Maybe we can go over 100 yards after this carry, but this is not really doing a whole lot for our Heisman bid, but I would rather have a national championship for Tank anyways. Okay. There's a solid gain. Tried to see if I could get around the last defender because I had a lot of green in front of me. But we're going to take that and now tank up the middle. But not a lot of room. This one looks about over, my friends. Only a minute 13 left on the clock. And Tucker takes the handoff. And the guys, they're really good at breaking off their blocks, these Virginia defenders. They've been doing a great job. Go down and score. And now, I don't know why I'm watching this. I should have just simulated it. But victory formation. Take a knee. Let's go, guys. We get the victory. We'll just keep skipping the play. And there we go. Get our fourth victory on the season. All right, so 20 carries on the day for Tank Tucker, a buck 16 on the ground, one rushing touchdown, 11 yards receiving. Decent statistics. We'll check up on his Heisman watch, and then we'll see who our next opponent will be. Here you can see the Heisman watch. Tucker did go up a spot in the standings, but we still got that halfback from Alabama in front of us. Got to take him out. He had 99 kick return yards, a touchdown, 24 punt return yards. Where's the running stats? Anyways, let's see who our other competition is. Jonathan Duncan, and oddly enough, we play him this week because our next opponent is the Virginia Tech Hokies, who are, they were ranked number 16. Let's see if they still are. All right, Virginia Tech, we are now 21. Did we drop a ranking? We're playing against number 12, Virginia Tech, undefeated 5-0. We got to take them down. This is a big game. That game will be a live commentary. Expect a four-game episode after the Virginia Tech game. And I also want to make some four-game episodes of Jack Hammer as well. But here are a couple videos for you guys to check out. On the top, I created Tank Tucker in WWE 12. You can check that video and see how his first match went. And if you want him on WWE 12, you can download him on the PlayStation Network. And on the bottom, we have the last episode I posted in my Minnesota Vikings franchise series. A series that a lot of people are enjoying right now, and it's going very well. We are late in the second season of that franchise, so you can check that video out. And I will see you guys next time in the next episode of the Tank Tucker series. 
Have a great day.